Hey guys, if red painful styes are driving you crazy, we're gonna talk about several treatments today that'll get you feeling better in no time. It's Allison Young from the Eye Surgeon Channel. And today we're going to be talking about probably one of the most common phone calls we get in our office every day, and that is, I have a sty. What can I do about it? Um, if you haven't heard already our blepharitis video from before, please check that out. Um, it has a lot of good information on just kind of the underlying pathophysiology um, that leads to a sty. But today we're going to specifically talk about the styes themselves, um, what they look like, what the symptoms are, and a couple of at home, but more importantly, in office treatments that we use to take care of them. Okay, so what are the symptoms of a sty? I think most everybody knows what they are. It's that red painful bump that you wake up with and you're just so embarrassed that you have to go to work with this giant bump on the eye. They're caused by plugging of the oil glands. And just as a little reminder, this is a healthy eyelid and we have about 10 to 15 oil glands that sit behind the eyelashes. And when those get plugged up in blepharitis, they look like this and all of these little oil glands are plugged and then bacteria can kind of find a nice warm spot that it likes and it forms a sty. The sty can form either on the inside of the eye where you have to pull your lid down to see it or you probably noticed it, it, it sometimes you see folks with that big red kind of looks like a pimple on the outside that's an external sty. It's basically the same thing it just depends on whether it opens on the inside or the outside of the eyelid. So if you're at home and you know no access to a doctor, then the first thing and most important thing to do is use heat. Again, remembering that those oil glands are kind of like a bunch of little sticks of melted butter. You wanna open those oil glands and get everything to flow freely. So these are um, microwavable warm compresses that you can buy over the counter or online. Again, this particular brand is by a company called Ocusoft, but there's a lot of different brands out there. You throw them in the microwave for about five or 10 seconds, get them nice and warm, but not too hot that you're gonna burn yourself. And then you just place them over the eyes and hold them there for about five or 10 minutes. If you have an actual sty, you wanna keep it on there a little bit longer. And what I usually instruct my patients to do is after they've had the heat on there for a while, through the warm compress, you can kind of massage over the area where you have the sty. You wanna to try to break up all of that inflammation and pus and allow that to freely flow um, from the eyelid. If it's coming out, that's a really good sign. So if you've tried that already and you've been warm compressing till you can warm compress no more and the sty is still there, then a lot of times we have to use uh, topical medications. Most of the time you don't need oral antibiotics for this. I see that prescribed a lot, but it's usually not necessary. Um, well, favorite combinations usually include an antibiotic and steroid, and that can come either in a drop or an ointment um, that you apply typically three to four times a day for about a week or two. Most of the time, that's gonna clear everything up. But occasionally, folks will come back in a couple or three weeks and the sty is still there. And if that's the case, um, then one of the next lines of treatment is what's called intralesional kinolog. And this is just a tiny little bit of steroid that we inject directly into the sty um, that sits there as like a little depot. It will sit around in the lid for three or four weeks and kind of work all of its anti-inflammatory magic. And a lot of times that will get the sty to go away. If we've done the kinolog and the sty persists, um, then the last resort is to do something called an incision and drainage. And we try to avoid this if we can, this is not the most fun procedure for patients, but it is the definitive treatment to get rid of the longstanding sty. Um, in a second, we're gonna take you back to our minor OR and go through some of the instrumentation I use um, to do this procedure and talk a little bit more about it. Okay, so we're in our minor procedure room at the office and um, no patients volunteered to be <laughs> subjects for this. So we're gonna just use our eye model again. So one of the easiest things we can do if the warm compresses and the antibiotic steroid combinations are not working is something called a Kenalog injection. It's kind of a little milky white and all steroids in the eyes are milky white. We draw that up in a really teeny tiny needle. This needle is a 30 gauge needle, which is literally the smallest needle that you can get. So we're easy on the eyelids because it's such thin skin. 
And once I draw that up, usually less than you know, 0.1 cc, really tiny, I'm gonna inject that directly into the sty. Now most of the time we'll do that injection on the external part of the lid, just so that it's, it's not as uncomfortable on the internal part, and it will get all the way through. And then patients, uh, I always warn them that there will be a, a tiny little white area where that steroid injection was deposited that will slowly absorb over the next three to four weeks. And typically I'll do a follow-up with them, you know, a month or so later and see if it's all resolved. And most of the time it is. Um, if it's not resolved, then the next step is something called uh, an incision and drainage. And so for that, what we're going to do is actually take the lid and evert it so that I actually have access to this little area with the inflammation, with the sty. Um, this is a little clamp that we'll use. It's actually going to go over the surface of the lid. I'll, it'll allow me to tighten it and then invert the lid. And then I'll have a little view of the inside of the lid where I can remove the sty. So this is all, of course, after the eye is numbed up with some lidocaine, try to get the patient as comfortable as possible with the clamp on, avert the lid, and then use a, a blade to sort of open um, the area where the sty is. And then we can kind of just gently dissect out, you know, all of the little usually there's a lot of scar tissue associated with it at this point with it's been there for several weeks to several months. Um, sometimes you'll get, you know, a good gush of fluid and you sort of know it's going to resolve quickly. Other times it's been there for a while and you have to really dissect out some of that scar tissue. Once you clean up the lid, get some hemostasis, get the, the bleeding to kind of settle down, then we just put the lid right back, kind of hold pressure for a little while. And I'll usually put a pressure patch over the eye for about three or four hours as the patient goes home, just so it kind of keeps everything nice and stable. And then they use the same ointment that they were typically using before, which is a combination antibiotic steroid for about a week or so. And by that time, when they come back for their follow-up, the inside of the lid has already healed because it heals so quickly. So those are just some of the little treatments that we use for styes, and um, hopefully you won't ever have to have that done. But if you do, you know what you're gonna be looking at. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video on styes. Hopefully you found it helpful. Um, if you did, don't forget to like below and please subscribe to the iSurgeon channel so you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Have a great day.